Well, howdy doody, this is my son Scooter. Can you see anything strange and sinister going on there? Take a very careful look. Warning. The warning on this video has been removed and this video is highly educational. Maybe if I get up a bit closer and I drag the camera along here, <laughs> we're going to start to see something rather, rather nasty and it's uh, sort of happening right there. Well, what's going on there? There's a red back spider set up uh, in this zone here. I've got a couple of tools to help me here and I've also got that stuff there which I'm sure is going to help me a lot. I've got to work a little bit quick here. The weather's starting to change. Might be another storm coming in. Quite a curious setup this one. It's a nice warm area. Of course the scooter is metallic and it presents to the spider a lovely home. I've got a sneaky suspicion the spider is actually residing up here. There'll be a piece of tube here and the spider is going to be living up here. Okay, and uh, I'll just get some lights in here and maybe we'll see the web structure a bit better uh, once I light it up because that's the thing that tells you it's a redback. Okay, hopefully it's streaking across the screen there and it is very hard to focus on. Uh, that there is redback spider web. It's often mangled, messy, uh, quite taut. Um, very, very typical of what they set up uh, in the areas where they're going to catch their prey. You also notice there's a feather and what I call a Father Christmas there, uh, hanging in the web. And the other ominous thing there, there's actually an ant there. Okay, the ant is dead, I've just flicked it away. That's the catch area there and there's another ant running through. And before I take care of the spider, I'm going to try the tuning forks again to see if I can lure this red back. There is an E there and there is an A. And what I worked out before when playing with these, you only really have one chance with the tuning fork. And once the spider gets used to that vibration, it won't come down to it. Then you move to your next one. So I'm sort of thinking that area up there is Mrs. Redback's lair. I'm going to see if I can lure her out. Maybe to condense the video a bit here, I spent a little bit too much time playing with the tuning forks. I was unable to lure the Redback spider out with the tuning forks. Yes, it works with some spiders, but the Redbacks can be very tricky to find. And maybe when we see where we find the spider, we'll understand why the tuning forks didn't work. I have had that work with other spiders. Thank you to the YouTuber who told me about that method. It actually works great with certain spiders. The red back's very hard. I was just going to spray some water on the web so we can see the web a little bit uh, clearer because it can be very hard to see and this will make it shine. So I'm hoping by adding that water there we can see that web a lot clearer. It's a very good sort of web to get your head around and understand where it's setting up. So often I only notice it when there's stuff dangling in it. It can be very hard to see. Seeing this set up on my uh, sun scooter is what I call the real nuisance about these spiders. They are very dangerous spiders. Uh, let's say if my son was carrying this down to the shops, uh, who knows the spider might come out and if it's angry it's going to take a bite. Uh, most times uh, they're not like that, but you can be very unlucky. Let me just move this away now and let's get ready to spray this spidey. I've got a white sheet of paper here. Hopefully that's going to help me see the spider when it comes running for its life. And I'll just lay the scooter over like this. I can see the area where she'll be residing quite clearly now. I wonder what size this spider will be. I hope she comes out this way. And if she doesn't come out this way, well, I'll have to flush her out, won't I? I've got McColl's multi-insert killer here. The best thing about this stuff is it's dirt cheap and it works and give it a shake before you use it. And remember, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, none of these companies speak to me. That is Coles, uh, the people who make these scooters, or Makita who make lights like that. Okay, I'm ready to spray. Here we go. And who knows where she's going to come flying out from. But she will come flying out, I hope. That should be quite enough. Let's squeeze a bit right up there, eh? Whoosh yeah! I'm starting to get a little bit worried. Uh, I'm not seeing a spidey. Not one sign of her yet. Mmm, sneaky devil. Mmm, she's playing hard to get. Let me just give this a bit of a bangle. Uh, like so. Maybe I'll be able to shake her out of her misery. Maybe I'm going to have to take the wheel off to find out where she is. I'm not seeing what I want to see. I want to see this spider. Darn it. I just get some tools and get rid of this wheel. Okay, so I've taken the wheel off. Uh, pretty easy to take off. Don't forget to put some nut lock back on if you are taking these off. I notice a nut lock there. I've made up a little custom tool here out of some piano wire. It's the sort of thing I used to push my little toy trains around with. And I have looked up the hole there and there is something up there. So I'm going to try and drag it out with that. Wish me luck. <laughs> That's one of these things, I think it's only a small spider, but you know, I've got to see a body. 
I think we've all got to see a body for, to understand what's going on. And uh, at the moment, I don't know how far up this thing is, I could see it by put, putting a torch down that hole. Man, that web is your typical strength. Look, it's very strong, that web, look at that. It's amazing, I'm just trying to get out what's up there. A bit boring to deal with this, but I need to see what I've just sprayed. Okay, there's something there, but what exactly is it? Let's take a look on the paper, eh? Okay, uh, that looks like a, quite a large ant. I dare say some expert out there will identify that, but uh, it was caught up there. Wonderful thing to find, but it's not what I wanted to see. I'll just go up there again and see what I can haul out. I know there's other stuff up there, it's just a matter of uh, connecting onto it. Just to save some of your time here, I had to pull the scooter down further, pull the handlebar area totally apart, and it just shows you how sneaky and devilish these little redback spiders are. I need to find a spider because I need to prove my point, and I'm not going to stop until I find this spider. It may also be in this hollow section here. Hmm, lots of nooks and crannies on this. Okay, I found her, I found her. She may have been in a spot where I was putting my hand before. And she's down there. There she is there, um, yeah, she's growing. Hey, she's got past that spiderling stage. Quite a nice specimen. It is a redback spider. If I just get the red showing there, there we go. Yes, uh, nasty business indeed. I tell you what, that's just the right size to be insidious enough to uh, give a child a nasty bite. That's small, but very, very dangerous. That spider has been lurking around on this scooter for too long. I think my son's pretty well educated in understanding where these spiders reside. Mind you, we've never had one on the scooter, so it's another nice little life lesson for him, isn't it? And good night, little sister. See you later alligator mind you the thing will be dying from the, the pest control but they're nasty 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 critters i can tell you very difficult to control and totally get rid of almost impossible yes welcome to australia hey deadly spiders in children's scooters a nasty find but i'm not surprised in a way the scooter was in the front yard of our house we've had lots of spiders in that zone i dare say that little spider would be a breeder by next spider season it's only quite young but it's still quite dangerous I do think it was probably living out along the bottom of the scooter there. It's probably the perfect little reservoir for it to live. Nice and warm, nice and recluse. And we could see that it was feeding up in that handlebar area, which goes up to the handlebars. My crikeys, that was a bit of a, a thing to get to that spider, but I'm glad you can see how difficult it can be to find these nasty, nasty redback spiders, which are nothing but a deadly pest. And maybe I should add on some uh, video here of Bindi, the redback spider. Man, she is growing nicely. She's the last surviving redback spider in my spider tank. And I've just given her two lovely black beetles. That's sort of like the normal fare uh, for a redback spider. That would be like their main delicacy in life. And look at her go there for web. Uh, she is a wonder of nature. And also she is a incredible survivor considering what happened down in the spider tank. Something about redback spiders when they're doing that web action with their back legs, it's quite, oh, look at that, that's a bite. Ooh, man, can you feel that? Uh, that's definitely a bite there. Spider bite from a redback spider, it would be quite a nasty experience. I don't ever really want to experience that. Uh, but that black beetle has just copped a beauty. And I bet you uh, Bindi's going to come in for some more bites because that's the way she's wired. They're quite remarkable when you have a bit of a study in the way these spiders work. They're quite beautiful in many, many ways. I know some of you would be curious, well, how old is a spider tank now? Made up on the 10th of September in 2018, and I'm shooting this, well, in the last week of February in 2019. I can't do the math uh, to work out how many weeks, but I'm sure, I'm sure someone in the audience can. I'm not crash hot at maths, that's why I'm stuffing around with spideys. So yeah, I'm sure many of you were wondering about Bindi and how she's getting on. She's uh, really happy, she's well fed. And I think she'll be around for quite a period of time. She got that look about her, I can tell you. Hooray, yes, the scooter did come back together and there's something I forgot to do when I put this back together to stop the spiders from sitting up there. You know what it is, a very simple thing. I should have sprayed the old white lithium grease 
uh, up inside this section here and also try to get this area down along here but maybe if we see a spider set up again well I'll come in with that stuff right there